guys, I'm Gagasita, welcome to my channel. So, in today's video, I'm gonna show you a look using this made by Mitchell, Feet on the Ground palette. I hope you like this video, it was, and I just uh, dec I decided to try the newer blushes by Freddy as well. And this look is kind of easy, I think that it's easy but it's still impactful. So I hope you like the video and watch the tutorial and then let me know what you think about it, okay? I have already placed my, let me just blend a little bit here more. I have already placed my foundation which was the Fenty Beauty one and the, the concealer. Today I'm wearing the LA Girl the my LA Girl concealer brought the set with the blush, highlighter and lip gloss so today we're gonna what's this? <laughs> we're gonna try the blush no, the blush and maybe put a little bit of the highlighter over it this one may be too much similar to my skin tone but let's try it I'm warming it with my finger I'm gonna just place it here. Yeah, it's gonna give me a really nudie effect, which is not bad. Sometimes it's good to have in, so something uh, more uh, highlighter that came in. So let's see. Yeah. Okay, I can see this one working so well as a highlighter. Yeah, I don't. I am not really loving this thing. As blush, I don't feel that I have blush. <laughs> you know that I like a stronger blush. This one is not for me. It's cute, don't get me wrong, but that's not for me at all. I have something, but I, I need to test it more. Maybe with a lighter shade, the foundation is gonna work way much better. I never ever use bronzer, but today it feels so because since I don't have too much blush, I feel that I have something to bring more color to my face so I'm gonna be using this bronzer from Nabla, this one is the skin bronzing in the shade, in the shade Soft Revenge I don't know what Nabla was thinking when they called this color a uh, bronzer this is not a bronzer, this for me it's 100% a contour shade they could just launch more colors like this one and call them a uh, counter because this is not bronzer at all. There is no way this is kind of a bronzer. I don't know which skin tone you have to be to be this one be a bronzer. This one is not a bronzer, it's a counter shade. I'm gonna try my the, the, I'm gonna try use my uh Pillow's eyeshadow base. I like the Pillow's eyeshadow base. The only issue is that you need a little bit because if you wear it too much, it will crease as hell on you. So no, don't say that I did not advise you, okay? You just need a tiny bit. I will start with the color greener, this one here, and I'm gonna place this color in my outer try to keep my eye nice and rounded as you can see now in my inner corner I'm gonna go with this color this yellow shade here which appears to be so nice yellows never work on my skin tone I always need to put a base down so I will not be surprised if did you see this oh my gosh oh my freaking gosh Oh wow, I was not expecting this pigmentation. Yellows never work on me without an, a base and this is, is this is not a pure yellow, let's be honest here. It's more like a chartreuse, chartreuse uh, leaning yellow shade but it's, it's still it's a hard color to show on my skin tone and this one is showing so so nicely I am impressed I'm gonna grab this one here which is a little bit more a pointy uh, blending brush this one is from Murphy uh, Murphy 332 I think I was lucky with this brush let's be honest because 
Morphe brushes always lose their shape on me. I don't know what to, what I do wrong. I just know that they uh, lose their shape. Now I'm gonna just blend the shade the Clay Baby, which is the mustard shade here, the third shade and the last row, and I'm gonna blend this color in my uh, in my. Um, in my crease. I'm gonna try to connect the green with the chartreuse yellow shade. I'm gonna need to build the yellow a little bit more because since I'm blending I'm losing a little bit the uh, definition of the color which is a shame but it's easy it's a problem easy to sew. Now I'm gonna grab the second shade here on my palette and I'm gonna place this color in the center of my lid. I don't know if this color will show on my skin tone, I'm gonna be honest with you. Maybe this color will work better with um, glitter glue underneath. Oh my gosh, I am loving this um, look. It's kind of lighter, honestly I will go more, I will go deeper if you ask me. But I still like the way this color skin is going on. I'm gonna back with the green shade which was greener. And I'm gonna place this color in the outer part of my outer V. Just to give it a little bit more of a definition. I don't know if you can actually see. I'm feeling like the Brazilian flag. That's That could be nice, that could be... It's of course a something, right? And now I am just blending the edges again. And I'm gonna blend the edges of this green shade here in the outer part of my eye as well. Now I'm gonna go with this uh, teal shade here underneath, just in my uh, lower lash line, just to give me that something, something. To I will highlight my inner corner with my highlighter brush as I always do but I'm gonna use this shade here in the palette is this light champagne shade I have already ruined the print on the pan and I'm gonna place a little bit of the same shade just in the middle of my eye just to give it a little bit more of a oomph, oomph, oomph. okay now I'm gonna put Woo! Now I'm gonna put eyeliner and lashes and gonna be right back. Okay, so here it is, the final look. I'm wearing a little bit of uh, eyeliner, not eyeliner, eye pencil around my eye. I put on the, the double siren by House of Lashes, of course. And since I have this really muted eye, this uh, I have this really green eye, this really muted cheekbones. I decided to go really cool tone with my lips, which I never ever do. And I love cool tone lips from time to time. I don't know, they just make me feel confident. Like, don't you even try me, bitch. <laughs> I love this kind of color. And this one, it's Crucifix by KVD Vegan Beauty. And... I like it. Underneath it, I'm gonna I'm using the shade Grunge by ColourPop. I don't know if this one is still available, but you know, they are just two cool tones brown. This palette from Made by Mito is still really great quality as the first one. I really like the quality of the shadows. They are easy to build is it to blend they are pigmented enough enough that when i say they are pigmented enough it's just like they are they, they have a lot of pigment but they never look patchy they are easy to build it's one of it's one of those formula that you don't need to you not to be an eyeshadow expert to work with them i was thinking about doing a tree tree three looks one palette. I, I want to do uh, all matte looks using this three shade here. It's gonna be ah, chartreuse crease. And you can go really per you can go really cool down using this. I, I want to try this gray here because I never use uh, this much of a 
this one here, not this one, this one is still wearable for me. This one for me, it's one of those colors that I never ever use because it's gray. I never use gray and I might, I might try it. The only thing that I didn't like about this palette is of course the waiting time was a lot, a lot, but uh, we, and I don't like how out six out of six shimmer that we have in this palette for our greens or green leaning, and all the others are one pink and one gold. It's <laughs> like uh, yeah, you could do better, but the mats are just. Uh, stunning are unique and fun i don't think i have another light lime neon green it's a light lime neon neon green it's is it even a color light it's a beautiful 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 light green i hope that the lasting power is as good as the eyeshadow pigment quality but only time will, will let us know about it. I will try to give you another video doing maybe two or maybe three looks using this one and maybe I'm gonna try to show it off on my Instagram. About the other things that I'm wearing on my face, which is the, the trio the trio by Fenty that I only use two things, which was the blush and the highlighter. I like, this is my, fi this is my final first impression of those two palettes from Made by Mitchell. And don't forget to watch the other one and I see you see you really soon with another video and maybe I can come back with some two looks, one palette, two palettes, one look. I don't know, let me know what you're gonna see next or I can do whatever I want as I, as I always do. Um, see you soon! Bye bye! <laughs>